In 1929, Harley-Davidson debuted its 45 cubic inch flathead twin. And over the next almost 50 years, the bike would become a mainstay in Harley-Davidson's production of road models, racers, and police motorcycles. Welcome back to the Drive for History, guys. This week, we're highlighting Harley-Davidson 45 cubic inch machines. And today, the ultra rare 1933 Woolery Bullet Special. Only motorcycle ever produced like this by Harley-Davidson. I'll tell you all about the bike We've got great history on the machine. And of course, we're gonna fire it up for you here momentarily. Now, the 45 cubic inch racing exhibit, excuse me, the 45 cubic inch exhibit here at Wheels Through Time houses a machine one of almost every year of production. So two-wheeled form, they made these bikes from 1929 to 1952. And most of the examples in our 45 cubic inch exhibit are original condition machines. So bikes dating back all the way to 1929, untouched, untampered with, and of course, still in running and operating condition. Now, upstairs at the museum, the Harley-Davidson racing exhibit, WRs, WLDRs, KRs, some of the most incredible and most historic racing Harley 45s anywhere in the world are upstairs at the museum. When you visit, make sure you get to the mezzanine, check out the racing stuff. Now, the Harley Davidson Woolery Bullet, ultra cool machine, special model. Now, what you'll notice is this is very, very different look than your average Harley Davidson 45. In 1933, Harley Davidson specifically produced this one off machine using the 350cc single cylinder lightweight chassis and a 45 cubic inch motor of a slightly earlier year. So 1933, the R model was the 45 of production for Harley Davidson. So what you see, what makes an R model an R model and again, 1929 to 31, Harley Davidson produced a Model D. That's what we call the three cylinder Harley. It's only a twin, but it's got that vertical generator that really kind of looks like a third cylinder from say 20, 30, 50 feet. Now the R model was the first of its type in that they made the generator uh, a front mount component to the engine. So significantly beefed up the crankcases move the front end, excuse me, move the, the generator out to the front of the motor. As a result, they needed to make that frame a little bit bigger and more substantial. Now, 1933, your average Harley 45, the big wide I-beam fork, the wide fenders, the wide gas tank. This is a 33 model RLD that we highlighted last year on Drive for History. You guys may have seen the video. So the D model, or excuse me, the Woolery Bullet utilizes that earlier D model engine without that front mount generator. So actually over on this side, Steve, you can see that vertical generator setup. Now this works off of a bevel gear setup had its limitations, and of course, uh, Harley Davidson went away for the excuse me went away from this for good reason. Now, the chassis itself, the Harley Davidson B model chassis was Harley Davidson B model was the lightweight 1926 through about 1934. What we're looking at here is a model CB. Now, this example happens to be serial number one of its type, flathead 500 cc single in the 350 chassis. So the singles they made in both 350 and 500s stuff them into these little lightweight chassis, uh, Model CB, considerably lighter than your Model C with the big 45 chassis. So this bike was actually special ordered in 1933 uh, by uh, Horace E. Woolery. Horace E. Woolery was the founder of the Woolery Machine Company in Minneapolis. Uh, the bike was ordered through Guy Webb Incorporated, uh, the Harley Davidson dealer right there in Minneapolis as a special model. Now you figure why would Harley Davidson incorporate a two year obsolete engine into a new uh, uh, spec, uh, maybe a new custom model for uh, uh, one of their customers. Now, 1933, and I know you guys have heard me say this before, this is Harley's low production year. This is coming from a time in the late 1920s, mid 1920s, where Harley's making 25, 28,000 motorcycles total. 1933, they made just over 3,000 bikes. So down to near 10 or 15% uh, of production capacity. At the time, Harley Davidson, you can bet, was trying to sell anything that they possibly could. Uh, as it would be, uh, they would probably use uh, an uh, an overstock, obsolete D model engine. And again, lightweight chassis. So it's what somebody's idea here was, the, you know, let's get a lightweight, big cubic inch hot rod 
So the engine, the DLD engine, was actually the high performance version. So this motor, uh, while it's the D model platform, big cams, light flywheels, special cylinders with big monster VL size intake ports, and then it's got the high compression, what we call cross fin Ricardo heads. So you can notice these high compression heads by the four uh, perpendicular fins or the four fins perpendicular to the rest of them. So ultra rare setup and to find one of these engines uh, today is very, very rare uh, to find a whole machine uh, in this sort of condition even rarer. Now this bike came to my dad in somewhat dilapidated condition in the late 1990s uh, and he would restore the bike to as close to as accurate a condition as he could. Now, a few factory photos of this bike exist. Here's a photo and it's got the Pullman negative number just down here on the bottom, uh, Woolery Bullet produced uh, by Harley Davidson right there at Juno Avenue. So this is likely the very first photograph of this motorcycle ever taken uh, right there at the Juno Avenue factory. So. Harley Davidson was pretty proud of this motorcycle. In 1933, shortly after it was produced, they took this out with one of the Harley's test riders, actually went 88 miles per hour on this exact motorcycle. So you figure it's 100 pounds lighter than your average Harley 45R model of the same year. Big high performance engine. One of the neat things about the DL engine from a performance standpoint is it's about 35 or 40 pounds lighter than the WL engine, uh, say from 1937 to 1952. So it's a smaller platform, tinier flywheels, everything's lighter weight. As such, the more compact motor fits into that 350 chassis really nicely. So really cool uh, 1933 paint job with the bird on there. Uh, this one's accessorized out, headlight, taillight, speedo. Uh, we've got it gassed up and oiled up. So I think this thing should fire right up and you guys will be really surprised from an early, early 45, it actually makes some great sound and some great power. So gas is on, we're gonna choke it a couple times and hope she'll, hope she'll fire. Three to go, three to prime, one to go. little thing and it's got those light flywheels considerably lighter than an R model it just winds up wicks really nice and again 88 mile per hour out of a little tiny bike like this is really impressive What a sweetie, needs ridden. 1933 Harley Davidson Woolery Bullet special machine. Make sure you guys check it out. Driveforhistory.com, support the museum today. Remember you guys help fuel us the museum that runs. We'll see you next time.